What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. This is kind of a special edition quickie video, but in this video we are going to be unboxing this. This is the Marvel Spider-Man, I'm going to say it's the Spider-Verse collector's box. These are these boxes that they've been selling at stores like Walmart and Target. This is made by Culturefly. Culturefly is killing it. They have um, really good subscription boxes, but they also do pretty good collector boxes. This was $20 at Walmart, I believe. $20 at Walmart. So I picked this up a few weeks ago. It was when I was searching for the Harry Potter mystery ones. Um, one time I went there and they didn't have them, but they had all these boxes. So I, I picked up a few different types of collector boxes and this was one of them. So this is Spider-Man Gamerverse. So this is maybe based off the video game. I'm really bad at the video game. I bought that on PS4 and I'm not very good at it. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up this box now. The thing about these collector boxes and some of you guys might like it, some of you guys might not like it, is they actually tell you what's inside the box. So before you buy it, it lists everything that is inside the box, minus one item that they always keep secret. It's usually their figure. I don't know what this is a figure of. It looks like a punching hand, but I don't think that's what it is. So let's go ahead and check out what's in the box, check out the items. Again, $20, so we'll check the value and see how it is. Once you remove the plastic and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. I love these type of collector boxes. One, because they're from Culturefly, so I know that all the items are gonna be licensed and exclusive. And I just like them because they're simple, straightforward, and they're $20. Um, they don't ship to my house, which, you know, that's unfortunate, but I, I like the price point for me just going to the store and picking them up. I think it's a good thing. There you go, Culturefly. And you can like do a survey or something and get 50% off. Okay, let's go ahead and check out what we have. The first item we have is this Spider-Man drawstring bag. Um, it's actually pretty good quality for drawstring bags. Sometimes we get these bags and they're pretty cheap, but this one actually is pretty thick material and it's, uh, I don't know what material it is, but it's thicker than some of the ones that we get. This also has little mesh things. I'm assuming, I don't know, to hold things like phones, probably not water bottles. Well, if you have a really skinny water bottle, it can hold a really skinny water bottle. Um, but probably just like knickknacks like your phone and whatnot. So there's two mesh things. I think it's just one big, yeah, one big open pocket inside. And then you have your drawstring bag. Very cool. I like drawstring bags a lot. They're good for things like if you're going to the beach and you just want to bring like a towel and like your phone, you don't need anything too bulky. So this is kind of a good option. I'm actually, I think going to the beach this weekend, so maybe I'll bring that. Next we have Spider-Man Gamerverse pin set. So we have Spidey's head, and then we have the Spidey logo. And these are these are little small pins, nothing too crazy. Two of them, one pin backing for each. We have this giant Spidey sticker. It's a decal. It says, oh, it says keep the bag away from babies. I don't know, I think this is something you could probably put like on a water bottle or like your laptop or something if you wanted to. Next we got this journal. I'm actually in need of a journal for this book that I'm reading, so I'm kind of excited about this. I receive a lot of journals. This one's pretty sh standard. It's, it's actually thinner, it's not super thick. It says Empire State University and it's gold. And then, let's see. Yes, it's lined paper, which is what I need. So I'm probably gonna end up using this for my own needs, but there's the ins inside covers. I'm assuming they're gonna be the same. Oh. Oops, I ripped it. The back one, the back page doesn't have a, a design, it's just the front and in, inner pages, but then you have your lined paper. This white lined paper is doing wonders for the lighting on my camera. So that's neat. And then the last one we have, this is our mystery item. I said it was a figure and I changed my mind because it's actually a planter. Culturefly is known to give a lot of planters, I'll be honest. Like a lot of the, my sub boxes, we always get planters, but this is cool. This is a Spidey planter, it's of his head. And you don't have to use this as a planter. You could definitely use this just as a pencil cup, like on your desk. Um, that's a lot of times what I use these things for. So kind of little like pen holders or whatever. But you could use it as a planter if you wanted to as well. There is a drain hole. We do have a couple little sprouting plants, although I think this might be a little bit too small for that. 
but that is neat. Okay, so that's everything in the box. This was, again, pretty straightforward and standard. Um, let's see, the journal I probably would give, this is a pretty simple journal. Journals can range anywhere from six to $15. I'm gonna give this one the lower end of $6 because it's pretty basic. There's nothing really to it. There's no like clasps. It's, you know, the cover is pretty standard. So just a standard journal. The sticker I'm gonna go to give, uh, let's do, should we do two or $3? It's a pretty big detail decal. We'll do three dollars. Um, pin set. I'll give four dollars. I'll do two dollars each for each pin. This little uh, bag. I like this bag a lot. I would say that this is and it has a tag too. So if you want to gift it, I think you could give this anywhere from seven to nine dollars. I'd be comfortable giving this eight dollars. And then the planter is cool. I think you could give this like six to seven to eight dollars. We'll do six dollars, keep it on the lower end. So according to my pricing, this box is worth around $27. Like I said, I paid $20 for it. So I think that these have, have good value for what they are. Um, and if you guys are just looking for like a smaller kind of gift box for somebody, but you don't want to do the whole subscription route, then these are really good options. All right, again, so $20 from Walmart if you guys are interested. I don't know if they still have them or not. I got this out. Oh, I got this a couple of weeks ago, so it may still be available at your local Walmart. And I think every Walmart has different like items. They have a ton of boxes right now. They have boxes by Culturefly, but they also have boxes from Loot Crate. So there's different like Loot Crate they have like an arcade one. I think they had like a 90s box. So you gotta have to look at it. I prefer the Culture Fly boxes because for the Loot Crate boxes, I have a lot of those items because they basically use a lot of their back stock items, make a collector's box, and then send it to the stores. So I have a lot of the Loot Crate items. So I usually stick with the, the Culture Fly items because these Culture Fly items are made specifically for this box. That's the difference. They're not just taking all their back, like their old subscription box items and then creating a box. They're actually like creating items for these boxes so I like that much much better all right guys that is all I have in this video short and sweet thank you so much for watching if you liked this video feel free to click the like button below if you want to see more boxing videos go and check out my channel I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this collector's box um, I also have a a Harry Potter one, which I, they have a few Harry Potter ones that I've purchased in the past, but this one's different. So I also picked up a Harry Potter one, which I'll be unboxing soon. But let me know what your thoughts are about this box and uh, if you were able to, if you've seen any of these boxes, I guess at Walmart, but let me know your thoughts. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you will make it on to my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Entertainment Examiner. Entertainment Examiner, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, supporting my channel. You've been around for a while. It was really good to see your comment pop up. And I wanted to give you the video shout out. Thanks for sticking with me. And uh, yeah, you ready for it? It's coming. It's coming right now. Shout out to you, Entertainment Examiner. Shout out to you. All right, guys, my camera looks kind of slanted. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.